guys, what's going on? It's your girl, Godly. I didn't get a chance last week to upload or stream. For those of y'all who don't follow me on Twitter, I have literally had so much drama going on in my life. It's just, it's ridiculous. It wouldn't be my life right now if I didn't have something going on every single day. So, first and foremost, a little bit of gameplay info for you guys. We wrecked these kids, and I totally hate that word, wrecked. But we did. We just demolished these kids. And good old Black Ops 2 Theater Mode, of course, didn't record it all. So, maybe lucky for them. But anyways, I end up just, it was just bad. It was rough. But you know what? There were a couple of troopers, and they stuck with it. So, hats off to them. All right, so the other day I had commented on Twitter that basically kissing ass gets you further in life than being nice and doing the respectable thing. And somebody had commented back to me, nice guys finish last for a reason. Light bulb moment. Never, ever did I think of it like that. Now, of course, I've heard the old saying. I've used the saying, nice guys finish last, but I guess I never put two and two together. You know, it's crazy how kissing ass can get you further in life than doing the right thing, you know? And so this entire year, my life has just been completely full with drama, BS, and just stress. And I'm over it. I'm so over it. You know, I feel like this enti entire year that people have just basically ran off and left me. Now, it's not one of those things like high school, you know, well, me and Sally Joe are going to be best friends forever. Yeah, because in all actuality... Probably not going to happen. Don't mean to bust y'all's bubble, but probably not going to happen. Now, I'm not saying that it won't because it could, but chances are it won't. And it's crazy because I feel like I've been left behind. And so I finally have had a moment where, you know what? Maybe it's time for me. Maybe it's time for me to run off and leave everybody. You know, it's just ridiculous because... Sometimes people just aren't who they seem. It doesn't matter who they are, how long you've known them, whether they're family, friends, neighbors. Sometimes people just aren't who they seem. And it's crazy that it's taken me my entire life to finally get to this point and to realize this. Now, I've always tried to abide by the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Well, guess what? From this point on, no. I'm going to start treating people the way that they treat me. Which, sometimes it may be good, but a lot of people should make, you know, should be scared. Because a lot of people have treated me like absolute ass over this last year. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about on YouTube or in real, in real life. I'm talking about in every single area of my life. And it's nuts to think that, you know, if I treat somebody with loyalty and respect and dignity and support... It's nuts for me to think that they'll show that in return. Now, I'm not saying that they won't, because I do have people that support me and that love me and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, a lot of people aren't going to treat you with the same respect that you treat them. It just, it is what it is. And like I said, I've always tried to do the right thing. And I felt like by doing the right thing that, you know what, I was a good person. And that at night when I go to bed, I could think, you know what? I did this for that person, or I did that for that person. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm not getting ahead. I'm not going anywhere, you know? And so, like I said, this entire year, I feel like people have just basically ran off and left me. And I think it's my turn. You know, it's time for me to leave people behind. The people who aren't with me, like, I'm definitely a ride or die chick. Like, I need somebody with me. And people in my life, just, <laughs> they ain't cutting it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy that it's taken me my entire life to realize that, you know, sometimes people aren't who they seem. And sometimes people, you know, definitely just don't treat you the same way that you treat them. So anyways, it's taken me, you know, all my life. I don't know if it's a blonde moment or an age thing. I don't know what's going on. But finally, you know, I'm starting. I'm going to do me from now on. I'm going to do me. And I guess that's all I can do. That's the moral of the story. You know, I've always been one of those people who, you know, will do anything and everything for somebody, you know, regardless. And I, I just can't be that person anymore. Emotionally, I cannot be that person. I can't sit here and continue to hurt and get hurt. And people just kind of walk all over me. And I just, I don't know. I don't see why people would do that to me. I don't see how people can do that to me. But it's happening. It's happened all year long. And I have lost so many people this year over decisions that I didn't even make. And that's the craziest thing that, 
you know, people have made decisions and then I look like the bad person because I had to respond, you know, to said decision. So anyways, it is what it is. I guess live and learn, um, you know, better late than ever, I guess. I mean, I guess there's, if there's any silver lining to it, but um, it's just nuts that it's taken me my entire life to finally get to this point. So, um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Let me know what your experiences are. Have you ever had to just leave somebody behind in your past? Is, is there been a person like that? Just regardless of how much you love them, regardless of how much you've tried to help them, that sometimes you just have to leave people behind. That's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.